All right, today's the day we're going to work on some more suspension stuff. Well, no, we told people that we'd be switching. Today we're going to work on taking the plug out of the bolt. We told people we'd switch from body parts, suspension, we find the box and they're working on, they're working on the bolt. You're on your own. Okay, well, after those blokes have worked out their differences, time to get to work. So before we can pull this tub out of the molds, we need to do some reinforcement on these bulkheads, kind of some lateral supports. So what am I going to do here is part of the duct work on the side of the car. I'm going to build that out of craft paper and then coat it with some mylar tape for a peel ply or a release film. And once I get that film on there, I'm going to put some fiberglass layers, just two or three thin layers on the outside against that releasing film. Not a lot of reinforcement at this point. We're just building some of the structure here because there'll be more complexities added to it later. But once that lamination is done on the outside, give it a chance to cure, then I can come around to the backside, trim that peel ply, take it off. And once that's removed, scuff that surface up and we're going to do a, another coat on the backside to bond it to the bulkhead and the floor. I said right now we're not trying to build up any strength with this thing, just a little structure like I said to hold the bulkheads from shifting around a little bit. These parts will actually be trimmed to a little bit different shape so build them a little bit oversize. Another thing I need to do is the front bulkhead has a couple pieces missing that are going to help stiffen it up. One of them is kind of the back end of the wheel well. I guess I call it a splash plate. So I'm going to cut that out of this uh, lighter foam core board because we'll be actually pouring some expanding foam over that and build it a lot thicker. But right now we're just going to put this in like I said to stiffen that up. There was also a little piece missing in the foot well. Cutting that out here, that regular one inch foam, that'll give us a little insulation and sound deadening in that front. Fit that in place, and then I'm not going to show you the laminating over these parts, but did add some more fiberglass coats on here, like I said, stiffen up that bulk as it doesn't move. And then once I have all those things cured, ready to go, it's time to take this thing out of the mold. But first off, every once in a while, I kind of do a little cleanup between stages, make sure things are a little bit more tidy to work around. Now the next thing we need to do is to separate the door molds out before we can pull the tub. Now the doors have just got a few layers a fiberglass in them mostly just to create the flanges and so we need to get the doors out of the way and we can work on them on their own separated from the car now just going around and uh, breaking the parts out of the mold so just separating see it seemed to be coming loose pretty easily but front here a little stiffer so we're gonna get our nylon wedge Start working around, try to get that thing loose. Dashboard underneath. Actually for a complex part, it's coming out pretty good. Last part breaking loose there and it is free. So time to bring in a little help. Lovely assistant. We're going to move it to the side so that we have a place to set it once it comes out of the mold. Luckily, this stage is still fairly light since it's not reinforced. We're just building the framework with that foam. But it's out and starting to look like a car. So the first thing we're going to do is go around and trim off all that clay that we used to Create that fillet on the edges. That just scrapes off real easily. Also, if you remember, we put some clay to make a little recess. So when we extend that duct back into the engine compartment, we have something to 
fit it in against. Anyway, getting all the clay, cleaning this thing off a little bit. Now it's time to start trimming this thing up. So I've placed the motor in its position at belt housing for the transmission, showing how it's going to fit. Also a couple other little cuts where I want to recess the engine into it a little bit. Give me that extra one inch. So cut the fiberglass for the recess and take the sawzall and just cut right on through the whole thing to make an opening where the transmission will insert into and around where the drive shaft's going to come. Now, like I said, this back bulkhead was laminated with some fiberglass, so we're going to peel that fiberglass out of the way and start gouging out all that foam back to the level of the craft paper on the inside so we can laminate against it. And I just, like I said, cutting the foam, good tool, serrated knife, 88 cents, Walmart. So that hair is trimmed out. Also missing from the description here, we got the window cut out also with its bevel recess. So the bulkhead's trimmed, ready to start laminating. I'm also going to do some recess cuts in the floor. Give me that one last inch of clearance for the headroom. Same thing, cut the one side of craft paper, chisel out the foam that's got that lamination on the back side of it. And there it is, ready to move on to the next step. But we have our tub out, and who could resist setting up, mocking it up, putting the wheels on there to see what's going to look like. So we will be moving on, moving on to reinforcements, building the door sills and all the relief cuts. But pretty exciting to see it in this stage, starting to look like a car rather than pieces.